My name is Rusty Perez. I'm from Corona, California. So I was born uh, in 1969, so now you know my age. And so I went uh, you know, through the school system in the 70s. This is obviously way before DNA and, and that kind of thing. So you know, they would take me into the doctor's office and lean me back and put the drops in and just look deep into my eyes and try to figure out what it is that I had. I remember a doctor saying something like, well, I think it's retinitis pigmentosa or something like that. <laughs> Mentioned a waxy disc. Here I'm like trying to keep my eyes open. And so that's what I've known that I've had all my life. The thing is though, that like many people know, um, retinitis pigmentosa is generally a degenerative thing, but mine didn't degenerate. Mine was like this when I was little. I figure if you can't laugh, <laughs> then, then you can't get through life. Can't get through life without laughing. So, you know, there are, there are days and there are parts of days uh, that are difficult. Um, but I guess my whole thing is that I'd rather not sit on a couch and just mope around all day. That isn't any fun to me. Um, so, you know, I, I have made the choice along the way if I have the choice, if I have the opportunity to do something, I'm going to do it. So I've always had music around me uh, and enjoyed music and I learned to play the guitar when I was 10. My sister came home from a college class. She was learning how to play the guitar and so she started teaching me a chord here and a chord there and and I kind of, well, I loved it, and I kind of taught myself the rest. So I've been playing music and enjoying music all of my life. It's a constant companion, and, um, and I think it's also helped me reach past the blindness. Or maybe, there's a better way to put it, maybe it's helped others reach past the blindness that they might be worried or, or, or fearful of and connect with me on a personal level. I went to get my first guide dog in 1998, and that was Relish. Relish was a black Labrador, uh, and, and I called her Relly Roo, and, uh, and that was it, I was hooked. Um, you, you build a, a relationship. You know, you, you learn to work together. You get a dog, um, you meet the dog, you work with it for a couple of weeks at the guide dog school, and then you take it home. And then it learns to live in your world, and you learn to get along with it. And you take the paths that you normally take, the sidewalks, the turns, the crosswalks, whatever it is. But the truth is that that dog is still an animal. And they might be distracted, and uh, or you know they might be curious. Oh, I love curious dogs, but sometimes it's a little scary because they might want to take a little bit of a different direction. And you got to know where you're going. I have to know where I'm going. In fact, you know, earlier you asked me one of the beautiful things about being blind, or I don't know what you said. I don't know how you said it, Ben. But I was gonna say I get to take a, an amazing dog with me everywhere I go, and I can always pet a dog. <laughs> because I'm allowed to. She can go anywhere she wants. You know, I, I call music a constant companion. It's just there waiting in the corner for me to, to pick it up and try and put into words, or maybe not even words, maybe just music, whatever it is that I'm, I'm feeling at the moment. So it's an alternate form of expression. You know, music just jumps across boundaries. And so it helps bridge the boundary between those of us who are blind and those of us who are afraid to be blind. You know, the truth is that being blind is not easy. So, you know, a cure would, would be very tempting. And I don't know, I don't know, if, you know, for sure. There are many things that I would really like to see. But I think that, that maybe the reason to take a cure isn't to make life easier all the time. Maybe the reason to take a cure is for those deeply emotional things that I miss out on. Somebody said I was gonna cry and I might just cry right now. <laughs> because there are these emotional things that we miss out on. Sure, we can't pick up a menu and read it. 
yeah, okay, we can't get in a car and drive, but we can't see a loved one's face. And that is much, so much more meaningful, I think, than, than the reading and the, and, and the driving. Um, so yeah, I, I think that that would be a, that would be a persuasive reason to take a cure.